Let's take a look at the syntax for the group by clause. As you can see, the group by clause is contained within a select statement. The group by clause is applied to rows that have been selected using a query, after where clause filtering, and before the order by clause. If you can remember from the order by, order by is applied after filtering. And if you think about it, since you're grouping rows from the select statement into a smaller number of groups, in other words, you're taking rows and adding some rows together and creating a smaller result, it wouldn't make any sense to order by before the group by, since you want to order the result, not whatever's passed into group by. It simply wouldn't make any sense. So here's the syntax for the group by clause. You can effectively group the results of a select statement after filtering either by an expression or what's called a roll-up or cube clause or by something called grouping sets. So what can an expression be? An expression is basically a column name, an alias column name, or even the application of a function. Generally, rollup is used as an addition to a group by a clause or an extension to create subtotals and a grand total. Cube is used to create 3D crosstabs. Really, what 3D crosstabs are, instead of producing subtotals and grand totals alone, you actually produce totals across the results that you're retrieving. We'll get further into that later on. Grouping sets is really used to filter out the results of roll-up cube clauses or do some unusual things with multiple groups. We'll also get to that later on. Something else we're interested in now is the having condition. What having does is, much like the where clause will filter out the results of a select statement, when group by has gone through all the results of the select statement and the where clause filtering and taken X number of rows and aggregated it down into a lot fewer rows, one row or many rows, with totals and subtotals, possibly, you can apply a having condition to the results of the group by. In other words, the rows that you're outputting from the group by can be filtered using having. So having actually behaves in exactly the same way as the WHERE clause does, except that it's applied to the group by. The WHERE clause applies filtering to the SELECT statement, and the HAVING condition applies filtering to the GROUP BY clause. Other than that, the GROUP BY clause does not affect the results of the SELECT statement and WHERE clause. It does not directly affect the ORDER BY clause, but GROUP BY can cause sorting to occur. Order by can be used to override sorting from select and where filtering. It can also be used to override sorting caused by the group by clause.